All right, welcome everyone to another home tour. We have a very unique property here on the east side of Henderson. We're at 335 North Orland Street, Henderson, Nevada, 89015 today. We have this beautiful property, been completely renovated, single story home for sale. And we are about 30 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip. You can see it all, the entire valley, the entire strip, snow-capped mountains. The views from here are spectacular. 32,234 square foot lot, four bedrooms, three baths, six car garage, includes space for indoor RV parking. We have a pool and a complete luxury renovation here not many homes like this one in las vegas so the driveway has been freshly sealed we do have a gate that closes off the driveway as well and then you can see just plenty of space on this property Very long driveway. I think you could park 15 cars end to end. Now I love the look of this home. Covered patio out front, stuccoed. Wait till you see the flooring on this patio. Look at this. I mean, they've done it all in this home. There's so many amazing features, amazing finishes. But yeah, all the way across. This beautiful laminate. And if you want a home with a big front patio that wraps all the way around, there's a sneak peek of that pool and the garage back there. This is the home for you. Sit out here, drink your iced tea, and look at the city lights. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to come back here and view this when, when it's nighttime and that's all lit up. It's, it's just breathtaking. If I get 50 comments asking me to come back, I'll come back and do that. Okay, so I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. We're gonna explore this single story home for sale. 1.25 million here, 2,707 square feet. I love this front door, real wood front door. Let's go inside and take a look. The home's been staged remarkably. Luxury finishes, you're gonna see this beautiful flooring throughout the entire home. Eight foot ceilings. This is gonna be the main living space. We do have a little lookout here with telescope. So you can see all those beautiful views from everywhere in the home. The electric fireplace, the stonework. And so just because they use this type of stone and this type of edging and this type of fireplace, these are not all created equal. It's the little details. It's the seam and the caulk around the bottom. It's the edging and how straight it is and how much, you know, bleed from other materials. This is done very, very clean. A very clean install on this so I just did want to point that out because these are not all created equal again just because you see these finishes doesn't mean it's gonna be this quality all right there's a look at the kitchen and the dining room but we're gonna go check out some bedrooms we do have a skylight in the ceiling here so you get natural light This can be the first bedroom of four. Six inch modern baseboard at the bottom there. A three blade fan, high quality, LED light. 
We're gonna have the remotes on all the fans connected to the wall near the switch. They've even changed the outlets. So that's another in indicator that they really went the extra mile. A lot of times on flips, they just change the outlet cover. Looks like they've actually changed all the outlets themselves. They look brand new. And that's always great to see. Anytime they add a little extra details, it's just a pride in craftsmanship, in my opinion. And I love these doors. The doors are upgraded. You can see kind of a shaker style door with the modern black matte handles. And again, craftsmanship, they've changed out all the hardware as well. This is gonna be your oversized coat closet here coming off the front. And that'll bring us into this bathroom. So this is a full bath, white shaker, I'm sorry, gray, but the white countertop. Very modern rear. Okay, luxury finishes, the glass open shower. Got the little shower out there, great tile work. It's a beautiful shower here. Done very well with the bench. Then we have a toilet behind as well. So that's going to be the first full bath. And we'll head over to this dining room. So the dining room is, I like the location of this dining room. It's not necessarily like a separate room that's closed off, but it's just a nice pass through. There's plenty of room. That's a very large table. The light is beautiful. I'm a fan of these. I was talking about one of my last videos. Sam Florentine had a four foot one of these. It was beautiful. Another skylight up there on that side. And this is where staging really, really uh, emphasizes the features of the hall. You can, you can see how it lives. Imagine if none of this was here and you would just, per, you know, in your head, put a dining table here. It's not gonna look like this. You're going to wonder about function. Is it going to stick out too far? But in this case, you just see exactly how it should live and it's beautiful. And this brings us back into the laundry room here. Gray shaker cabinets. No washer and dryer are provided with this home. So you can just imagine your brand new set there look beautiful. But again, those same floors. We do have an upgraded sink in the laundry room as well. GFCI protected, good to see. Up to code as far as this room, in my unofficial opinion, for code. Other shaker door. What do you think of this laundry room? All right, and that'll bring us over to the office, which is technically a bedroom. We've talked about that on other videos. So we actually have two doors to this bedroom that's set up as, a, as an amazing office. Have your clients here, these beautiful views outside. So we do have a door going out front. I wanted to show you this. This is on all the doors. I love the little peak hole on the doors, on these actual wooden doors, beautiful. And that's just gonna go right out front to that covered patio as well. You can kind of see where we're at in the hall. And walk-in closet here. So again, we have an actual real closet. We have windows, we have doors. This is a bedroom set up as an office, a beautiful. Same ceiling fan. And this is gonna be one of the smaller bedrooms, which is probably why they used it for the office. We'll get over to that kitchen in just a moment. So back here to bedroom number three. About 13 by 11 on these two bedrooms we just saw. I had a couple quarter windows, so plenty of natural light. 
I wanted to point out the natural light. There's no window coverings in this home. You'll see that a lot in models where they don't put window coverings on the windows, which just adds it a lot more extra light and some beautiful mountain views there to the east. Wide mirrored closet. Now it'll bring us into this full bath. Very similar to the other bathrooms we saw. Not exactly the same. So this is going to be the tub shower combo. Beautiful tile, tile work. And we're in the muted tones again, the grays, the whites. And the reason we do that is you can add any color you like. You can add green, add a little pink in the picture, whenever you like the colors work. We've seen them do all teal, all orange, all yellow, basically just any color you like will work out uh, with these muted tones. And then it's just going to be a door right outside. I'll show you that when we get to the other side where that goes out to. And again, another shaker door. Yeah, beautiful bathrooms. They've had the canned lights as well. So plenty of light in this home. And I'm saving the kitchen. We're going to inspect that. There's a lot to see in there. We'll head back to the primary bedroom. So extra wide 36 inch entrance on this bedroom with that shaker door in gray. And then 16 by 22 in this primary bedroom. There's no HOA here. You can do whatever you like on these 32,000 square feet of this lot. And again, straight out, just that's all Las Vegas Strip, all the way to downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street over here, all the way out to Nellis to the right. I mean, you can see everything. More than 180 degree view of the valleys. And look at this beautiful room. That's a king size bed, doesn't even start to take up any of the space. This is a massive room. Again, high-end ceiling fan with remote. And it's been staged beautifully as well. There's so much space here. And we do have a slider out to the left side here of the bedroom, and that takes you out to this, to this end of the outdoor patio here. We're going to head out to that pool in just a moment. But yeah, I love the front patio too. Reminds me of where I grew up. All right. Head over this way. So we have two closets here, left and right. And I'll show you what those look like. They are walk-in closets. With the foldable doors. So it is a little sneaky. It looks like it's just going to be a regular closet. And then you can step in. And into this primary bathroom. So again, same aesthetics here, but we added some purple and red there, which again, everything goes with the gray. Beautiful countertops, black mat hardware. And then European shower tub combo. So we're going to see this more and more. This is the European style tub. And essentially what it is, is it's the tub in the shower enclosure. So it's all on the same floor. Get out of the tub. You can rinse off. You don't have to worry about getting water on the floor. So this is really the new style that we're going to see more and more of. Beautiful. Let me know what you think of this shower tub combo we have the rain shower overhead the wand and again just the little touch is done so well that trim there on the edge all the caulking is very very smooth and that's what you want to see and they even dance around the windows which i love vanity art freestanding tub there. Yeah, just a stunner for a primary bathroom. I don't know what you think. I'm, I'm blown away by this. 
And then we have a water closet here to the left with a door for privacy. Yeah, so that's this beautiful primary bathroom. One last look at that European tub. Wow. I keep teasing that pool. We're headed there after the kitchen. Let's head over to the kitchen. Okay, so you're gonna see this massive waterfall island. We have four stools up at the countertop there. Beautiful lighting overhead. We have a white and gray brick black backsplash. With again, perfect edging on the on the tile there. Cafe, dishwasher, and stainless. Single basin stainless sink with the upgraded faucet. Soap dispenser all in matte black. Good size window looking over the backyard while you wash your hands, do the dishes. We have an electric oven here. Cafe with the cafe range above. Really, really beautiful. And then we have the pop filler. Love to see the pop filler on the high end range. So if you're going to have an electric range, this is the one to have cafe, very high end. And more of those shaker cabinets. I mean, there are so many shaker cabinets in this kitchen. Below, above, on the right side, on the left. And then that brings us over here to the right where we have a second sink. So this is basically just your prep sink here. I love that. Very functional. Don't take up a huge space with like your regular sink. Just a nice little prep sink there for you. And then we have the microwave here as well. Cafe. And that's going to be a microwave convection oven, I believe. And then the bodega wine fridge here. Temperature controlled. Your reds and your whites. Beautiful. Let me know what you think of this kitchen. Very open, plenty of space, high end appliances. Just supply your own refrigerator. So, yeah, that's the kitchen for you. 1.25 million for this property. Remember, six car garage. We're going to get out there in just a moment. That's actually a building out there. It's not a garage. It's like a whole building and uh, yeah, a pool. So let's go back and check it out. We have more patio out here. So just a nice little sitting area for you. A couple rocking chairs. A watch over the yard. This is the door from that bathroom. I told you we would kind of see when we're on the outside. That's where it comes out here. And into the backyard. So 32,000 square foot lot. Beautiful pool. This is an equestrian property. You can have horses. So we'll go take a look on the other side here in just a moment, but let's, uh, let's check out this pool first. So we do have a bunch of turf here. Cornhole, ping pong. The entire backyard is fenced. And here's the pool for you. Just perfect. It's exactly what you need here. And just that Las Vegas strip downtown, you can see it all from right here. And plenty of side yard all the way up to that fence. Look at the back of the house here, adobe style. 2,707 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, or an 89015 here, single story, for sale, 
near Las Vegas, but we're in Henderson. And let's check out this garage. Garage slash workshop. So they did replace the light. I like to see that. And into this garage. Wow. Fifteen foot ceilings, garage door opener for that massive garage door. RV electricity there. And just plenty of space here. Wow. And you kind of have a workshop over here as well. If you don't want to put a car there. This is a 1400 square foot garage. That's beautiful. And it also comes with its own bathroom. Very simple, but efficient. Basically a sink to wash your hands, clean the grime off a shower in case it got, you know, a little too serious out here with the, with the workshop and then just a the toilet. So really all you need, but you know, you don't have to go back into the house. And like I said, if you're really dirty, you can wash off out here. Uh, also a great bathroom for the pool. So you don't have to have people going inside the house all the time with wet feet, bathing suit. Just come right here, use the restroom, back to the backyard and the party. So yeah, very cool. Very cool. Let's go see what's on the other side of this fence. All right, thanks for being here. If you like this video, please hit that like button for me. Just takes a second and it really supports everything I do. And, and you have no idea how much uh, support it actually gives the channel to hit that like. So we really appreciate it. All right. And then this is going to be You tell me what this is. Is that stables? Picnic area? Carports? Maybe just a couple carports? Whatever you want it to be. I mean, obviously it's not stables, but I mean, you know what I mean. You can put some fencing in. Wow. Okay. And here's a front look at that garage. And then you have a shed out back to the right. And then access out to the back road here. So... Yeah, just a gigantic lot, beautiful luxury home. I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. Give me a call. See you on the next one. Thanks.